Okay, I'm going to show you what we did in class today um, regarding using common denominators to write equivalent fractions. And there's two different ways we did it, so I'll try and show you both of those ways, and you could pick whichever way works best for you. So the first, uh, the first way we'll look, um, or first we'll read the question here. It says, use a common denominator to write an equivalent fraction for 7 eighths and for 5 twelfths. So uh, the first way that a lot of people seem to like, which maybe for some people is the easiest way, is to simply take the two denominators as they are already and multiply them. So if you multiply 8 times 12, you're going to get 96. So 96 would become your new denominator for each fraction. Okay, And then you would say, all right, how many times did I multiply 8 to get to 96? Well, I multiplied it times 12. So if I multiplied the denominator by 12, I also multiply the numerator by 12, and 7 times 12 is 84. So the fraction equivalent to 7 eighths is 84 96 Now over here, I had multiplied 8 to, by 12 to get to 96, so I'm going to multiply 8 times 5 to get my new numerator of 40. And that is how you, uh, so we end up with 40 96 and that is the equivalent fraction to 5 twelfths. Um, and so that's the first way to do it. Now, uh, the next way to do it, we'll do that in green over here. <coughs> uh, the next way to do it is to find the least common multiple. So I first look at my um, two denominators and I write out um, several of their multiples. I like to start with the first five multiples and I can always extend the list if I need to. So I have 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. And then I have 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. So I look, do I have any multiples in common? And of course I have 24 in common. So 24 is gonna be my new denominator. So I get 24, 24, and now I just have to find my new numerator. So I say I multiplied 8 times 1, 2, 3. Um, so if I multiplied 8 by 3, then I'm also going to multiply 7 by 3. Uh, and 7 times 3 is 21. So that's my new numerator. And if I, down here, I multiply 12 by 1, 2. Okay, so I multiply 12 by 2 to get 24. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 2 and I'm going to get 10 as my new numerator over here. Um, and so 21 24 is equivalent to 7 eighths, and it's also equivalent to 84 96 and 10 24 is equivalent to 5 twelfths, which is also equivalent to 40 96 So um, I hope this helped, and you can choose either one of these ways to help you.